Freddy vs. Jason. Freddy Krueger has basically been forgotten by the people of Springwood. Basically because the adults of the town have decided that that is the only way to keep their children from dying. Freddy wants back, though, so he searches through the bowels of hell, P.S. it stinks down there, for Jason, whom he recruits by posing as his mother and telling him that there are some bad children on Elm Street. Because Jason is now Santa Claus, I guess, I don't know. And he sends him out to kill so that people will think that it's Freddy killing. I guess he's really hoping they don't notice the big hulking guy on the hockey mask, which really don't scream Freddy Krueger, but whatever. And about three kills later, he gets tired of Jason doing the killing, and he tries to think of a way to get back at him, and that's all I'm going to tell you. They chase your average, attractive, even the dorky ones, teenagers, including two escaped mental patients who deliver so much exposition you'd think I was kidding if I told you. Pretty much everything they say delivers exposition. This does pretty well respect the mythology and continuity of both films. If it does maybe lean more towards being interested in the Freddy aspect than the Jason one, but the effects are quite good, they're great. There are numerous creative kills. The pace is pretty good. I mean, like the others, this is, you know, around 90 minutes. It's 87 minutes without the credits. But it's pretty well entertaining throughout compared to more than the most of the Jason films and Freddy films. The two do battle, although of course it's not from right away. There's not an awful lot, but it is very dense once, very condensed. A very brutal fight between the two that where they just really throw everything that makes sense right in there. And a thing or two that, at least to me, just harken back to how dreadfully annoying and jokish Freddy got towards the end of that franchise. But if what you want is basically to see the two fight each other, then yeah, this one does it pretty well. They also do both get to do their thing on the teenagers in the film and both have some memorable moments where they do things that we could see them doing but at least some of which they have not done before. There are a lot of little references to both franchises sprinkled throughout this. The acting is again not that good the characters are as invisible as you'd expect. No one's here for them. We're here for the Titans. The style is pretty good, although the occasional lighting that is like entirely focused on one color is a bit much. There is a nice... The two 
villains that fight each other are sufficiently distinct from one another. So the fight is interesting. You know, Jason is slow but very powerful and very determined. Freddy is smart and very fast and more flexible. And that pretty well covers it. During the fight, I should say, they throw a couple of wrestling moves and it's set to heavy metal. So, in interviews, Ronnie Yu has talked about how he wanted it to be very brutal and effective and how he would let the camera basically just film them. You know, basically, if it cuts during the fight, it's pretty much because they're cutting to an effect that they did practically. Other than that, you know, the camera lingers a bit more than in other recent action, because this is action. I mean, it's also a horror film, but it's definitely also action. And the fight generally is, genuinely is brutal. We care, I guess, when they beat the crap out of each other. We almost feel the blows, you know, it looks like it hurts. And that's not really something we've experienced a lot. Especially with Jason. Maybe a little more with Freddy, but... So yeah, that's basically what there is to say about the movie without getting into spoilers. So that was my spoiler review of Freddy vs. Jason. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. As for the DVD, there is a full-length commentary track by Ronnie Yu, the director, Ken Kirsinger, Jason, and Freddy Krueger himself, Robert England. The latter is by far the most fun to listen to and he drops a ton of cinematic references. Ronnie is also interesting to listen to and he clearly does know what he's doing, as you can basically tell from the film and from Bride of Chucky. Bride of Chucky was lousy, but that's for another video, maybe. And I wouldn't necessarily say that that was Ronnie's fault. He made it look good, the same as this. Ken does not say an awful lot compared to the other two, but he's interesting enough. There are numerous featurettes on the DVD. This is the two-disc two disc set DVD of it. And the featurettes are nicely enough done, informational, you know, if you're interested in knowing more about the movie, they're worth your time. There are some deleted and alternate scenes with optional commentary, and a theatrical trailer, and of course, Jump to a Death, which I think is on every single Nightmare on Elm Street film DVD, so, unless you get like a really cheap one or something. Anyway, those were my, that was about the DVD, the two disc set DVD of Freddy vs. Jason. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.